What do you think the the cross examination of Keith Davidson is going to look like? Well, you know, I think it's going to go back to the assumption that you had no contact, you had no direct communication with, with Donald Trump. So you have no direct verifiable, but there's still the circumstantial evidence, there's still the credibility issue. And I think that, that, that Michael Cohen is not going to be as big of a factor it sounds like I'm crazy about to say this, as what people are thinking or expecting him to be, because the prosecution is going to come out there and say, you know what, you could poke holes in, in, in all these other witnesses. You could poke holes in David Pecker. You could poke holes in the, whoever's testifying right now. But at the end of the day, they have enough in them to support Michael Cohen. Mm. And Michael Cohen is angry, and Michael Cohen is making up stories, and Michael Cohen has lied, because that's what you do when you're hurt, and that's what you do when you're vengeful. But being vengeful doesn't mean that you are not immersed in a fraud. Being someone who's involved in, in a, a scheme how do you get those people who are the main kingpins? You got to get the person who was right next to him. You got to get the person who was cutting the drugs and selling the drugs to get the guy who's out the top. So you take the wind out of those sails. It's this little cross-examination they're going to do to these ancillary witnesses, but it's all of them together collectively as a whole that's building that levy that's holding in that proof beyond a reasonable doubt.